Welcome to Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. I am Newbie Spud, your host and player of this Let's Play. I write a DD and d webcomic called Friendship is Dragons. I've DM'd a campaign, and I've played a half dozen other weekly games. Joining me is Azure Inc. Hello, my name is Azure Inc., and I have uh, played in DM uh, D&D type stuff for 20 plus years. Zarhan. Hello, my name is Zarhan, as you can guess, and I've had about a year or two experience in playing D&D, and I DM a few games and playing a few weekly games. And Arkin Brony. Hey, I'm Arkin Brony, and I've run D&D for about a year, but played for about ten. So that's two of you with more experience than me. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. That's fine. It's funny because you're older than me. Really? Anyway. Yeah. Oh, you play, You started playing really young. Anyway, yeah. right here I'm just showing off the guns and equipment and skills I'm bringing into this DLC, but, you know, that's kind of not really why we're here. We're For Let's Play, we're skipping over, like, most of the freaking game, and we're just focusing on this one DLC, because it's Borderlands 2 meets Dungeons & Dragons, which, honestly, <laughs> is the most awesome thing I could ever think of. Great way to skip to level 31. Oh, yeah, that's... I, I spent quite a while, like, working on just building this character for this DLC, making sure he was all equipped and had all the right skills and whatnot. Hopefully that works out all right, because now we're starting. Yeah, she, she's an ocean, right? Yeah, she's a motion siren. And as you might have noticed, she was called Brick of the Siren, and we'll get to why that, why I made that choice in a little bit. So, premise starts after most of the rest of the story's already gone by. And we're just kind of in one night in Sanctuary, now, just chilling. Oh, uh, the cornerstone of gameplay. Why is, why is she rolling three dice? It looks like a d20, a d12, and a d6. I, well, no one has some, some dice sometimes, yeah, I think that's sometimes. for all of them. Right. No, that was, those were three different dice, and like that was initiative. Well, I, I, think, I think she's just throwing dice for dramatic effects. It's like initiative for all three of them. It's, but they should all be D20s then. They're not. <laughs> so the actual Borderlands 2 Vault Hunters are not present in reality, but within the game, they're kind of character classes. In real life, Borderlands 2 universe doesn't exist. There was Brick, Brick the Siren, the prettiest siren. Probably has a charisma in the 20s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, and then awkwardness happens. Tina, yeah, was... I wish my players were this cool. You know, Roland's not coming, oh, yeah. Right? I mean, look at her hair. Here. I wish yeah. I had hair like that sometimes. I think that's a fire hazard. They, they all just got done cosplaying. Roll for initiative, <laughs> suckers! Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Rated B for badass. So it starts out all dark. We have no idea where we are except we on a boat. And... Maybe she's a pirate. This place used to be really nice until the handsome Look sorcerer rainbow. messed everything up. Messed everything Not up. Mess at all. Head toward the town to investigate. Well, you can he, tell it's dark. Because it used to be flame rock. It used to be like a volcano or something, and he messed it up by making it all pretty. <laughs> Did you just get experience for arriving? Uh, you got experience for discovering the location. In this case, the same bar of infrequent walks. And uh, Brooke is also a pirate queen because she's, you know, looting everything. Oh yeah, the, 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 some of the treasure chests seem to be actually reused from uh, from the pirate DLC, uh, Captain Scarlet's and her pirate's booty. Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night. Whoops. And there's spooky music. And the area kind of smells like. There we go. This area kind of smells like butts and dead people. That was actually uh, Maya, the, my uh, character speaking. If you bring in different uh, characters, they'll they have different lines for that. They there's a few moments like that in this DLC that's pretty fun. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting. Skellymans. Ah, oh, skeletons. So no, skelly combat mans. begins. Really? Never heard of a not to be the... one skeleton. <laughs> yeah, you well, not to be the one you've that. got like you know demons and you know arch you know demigods and whatnot. No. <laughs> I'm resistant to your fire attacks. Yeah, they resist fire, so like my, one of my two elemental weapons is useless right now. Not purple. Slag, slag is useful because it makes every other damage uh, it, right know, deal more damage. 
Oh, so it's like armor penetration. Oh, man. Like, like superheated metal. They're using bows? I thought they had guns. What is that fireball? It's yeah, they around. kind of. Most of the enemies in the game kind of issue guns for other stuff. And let me tell you, the arrows are not to be trifled with. It's actually kind of annoying. I've already lost all my shields, and I'm getting. I'm kind of getting my butt handed to me by these guys. Oh, so they're using British longbows? I would be sad to die in your first battle. Ugh. Yeah. How much experience do I receive? Uh, so I switched out the frickin' fire weapon because it's useless, and I'm not feeling the love for the sniper rifle, so I bring out the shoddy and my rocket launcher. Because the purple seemed to work. Oh. Yeah, I, I kept the rifle in my Calm down. Pretty much my style playing Borderlands 2 is to just bring one of every single weapon and just keep the best one that I find. Is that the shotgun or the sniper rifle? Is it, <laughs> is it that hard to tell? Yes. We keep zooming in with it. It's a TDR, yeah, which means still. when I when I reload, you throw it. Uh, yeah, I throw it and it explodes. Well, come on, I'm making carry that one. Uh, basically, it just I, I get teleported a new one every time I throw it. Huh? That's great business right there. Well, they're really cheap, is the idea, because it's cheap. The one thing that I've found to be interesting about Borderlands is how uh, all the guns have like slightly different modifications to them. Yeah, so, uh, they're all random. It looks like a rocket launcher, but then it like shoots bullets or something. I don't think it's that crazy, but it seems a pretty. It looks crazy. like a bow. Oh, die, 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 die! Critical hits. Ugh. So you might have noticed earlier that? on that uh, you get close oh. to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly the handsome, the handsome dragon appears. appears. Bro, the Open first. Initiative. You're already fighting a boss, like this early in the game. You try to attack the dragon. That dragon is not handsome. Yeah, phase lock's not doing anything. I'm shooting it. It's not doing anything. Come on. It has handsome armor, like uh. bottom armor. Oh. 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 Whoa! Wow, that was fast. He likes critical hits. Hey, are we done now? Short LP, yeah, I think. Uh... Yeah, so um, that's it, guys. We're, uh, that's a, it's pretty short that's, to that's, see. That's, it's, that's, it's, we're about, you know, that's, ten, but, oh. Wait, what? Uh, what? I wanted to kill Did you, what? Yeah, I wanted okay. to kill something too. Yeah. Well, about a new boss. He's a skeleton. Of course. And his name uh, is... Skelly Man. Mr. Bony? I guess this is her first yes. running a game. I... I'm yeah, really pretty not much. clear because she's experienced with the game, so I, she might have played a lot, but this might be her Does first time work? DMing. Or BMing. Oh, God. That's usually how it works. So... It's uh, adorable. So I my How old is she? She's like thir 12, 13. I thought it was 14, but I think it's an introduction how old she is. Yeah. Like deadliest 13 year old. 13 year old. I think. Yeah. So, about this boss. Uh so it's giving me some trouble, but I threw a grenade and any time now it'll be Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, the fire geez. isn't right. that cool again, like never mind. Is no, but it was a transfusion grenade and it just kind of stole all of its health. For, uh, by what, like 13. Oh, so it was like some sort of Venturi thing. Yeah. Let well, me yeah. just use those. Interesting. Yeah. My shield's know... dropping boosters. I noticed your revolver is pretty much the strongest weapon you've got here. Yeah, and... but again, they're still giving me trouble for it, and I'm not happy about that. This is where Brick the Siren starts punching things a lot. Yes. Start, get, start getting into character. Because she is the prettiest. So wait. Uh, you're in Flame Rock Refuge now, but there's all these enemies. Uh, this isn't this isn't Flame Rock Refuge. This is uh, these are the unassuming docks of no particular significance. Oh. The Bone Yard is called, and the Hamlet of Swift Passing Through, apparently. Yeah. Yes, and the Sandbar of Frequent Walks that we just passed through. Yes. Yep. Wait, where did he come from? Uh, he jumped down. Glowing eyes indicate they're evil. Yeah, most of the time. So, so does that mean all the other skeletons are good? <laughs> no, they're, they're pretty well, much. I don't know. Right. Are they also glowing? Because sometimes you can't tell. All the other skeletons are dead. I'm not sure that's the important detail here. Is it? Is it really? By it looks the... like that one's good. His eyes aren't glowing. Uh, it's, yeah. it's he's trying to catch and it's got a shield. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that means he's yeah. like a protector if he's got a shield. Maybe he was giving you a present. <sighs> He's a paladin, I mean, that's... Well, this one is to your face. Ow. Arrows, right there. Ah. Ow. These are the arrows. Arrows. So you can knock it back and deal 
kind of a kind of ridiculous amount of damage. Yeah, unfortunately, I have never like looked at your hit point bar until now. Well, right now I'm doing okay, and I just punched. So punched. did they ever uh, see that one slowing? That one definitely evil. That one Sorry, not so punch. much, but he is still attacking you. Yeah. My strategy at this point is to shoot, shoot him with slag and just punch him for extra damage. Our purple compels you. Since when does punching do as much damage as a gun? When they're covered in slag. Ah. So this action skill I've got, phase lock, I've boosted it so that it actually mind controls an enemy. But oh, they that's cool. If you've been, if you look at some of the enemies I controlled up to this point, they barely hit ever because I've only I only get the melee guys for some stupid reason. So mm. it it's good like CC crowd control, I mean, but Yar, more loot for the pirate queen. <laughs> is that's the character now? Brick Brick the Siren is a pirate queen. Uh, she's also the prettiest. Well, yes. yes. And probably like, oh, like, like, like a sorcerer or Man, something. This is this is not looking oh, good. Oh, look she has like magic, mind control, and stuff. Yeah. But she's not like carrying a tower. And I'm down. Freaking. Oh no, you're dead. Fight and for your life. Kill okay. me. Back up. Wait, that's it. Yeah. Aww. It's it's harder than you think. It seems really hard to die. It's hard for. It's. What did you just do? Oh, um, that, that skeleton. particular skeleton was an immortal skeleton, which you can, they kind of get back up if you don't pull that glowing sword out of their back. Anyway, uh, this is a badass skeleton over here, and I break out the rocket launcher for this one. Yeah. Level 32 okay. badass. Look okay. at like... It's got this giant shield, lots of health, and it's just, it's just not making my day any easier. But, you know. And he's incredibly oh, stupid. Now you're yeah. mind control. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Die already. That's still, will you? There we go. Took Rocket my such a nice boss. Problem. Such a nice mini boss. He stands still when you want him to. <laughs> now the one that's the one useful thing about, you know, uh Thought Lock, but you know, I'm not really sure if it's entirely worth it at this point. Maybe. At this point I'm I'm considering uh, changing rock. my build. Anyway, here is actual fr flame rock refuge. Was that blue Underwhelming. Thing? That blue thing was oh. uh, the autosave indicator. In my trigger chest. Uh, pretty. You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps. Is that Always a blimp? alert in case of battle. Yeah, it's a blimp. Scouting blimps. Yeah. Shoot it down. Stop playing this game. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're funny. Let's talk to some town folk. Yeah, or should. Grand idea. Are the treasure chests ever trapped? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, yes, they are. They are. They're there are mimics. With spikes. From, uh, I love mimics. Yeah, I hate mimics, but we don't see them for a while, so. Uh... No generic oh. NPC. The queen has gone missing. Maybe her bodyguard. Oh, they're even using old speak. Yeah. yeah. Is this a guy or a gal? I can't we tell. She will never, never see the sun again. The sun again. So like queen I equals like sun. Well, more like queen equals light, but it's a basic idea. Right. So why is that, that like before. Disney and all that stuff hated Queen so much? Uh, yeah. the bodyguard isn't here. Uh, oh, whoops! Forgot to put her piece on the board. I don't, I don't think but this left. these guys subscribe to that so same idea. Like problem. Oh, uh, this the good guy here is a queen. I'm a good girl. In character, of course. <clears throat> Time to talk in character. Good morrow, fair maiden. That's my again. Trouble you? The queen is missing. She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? So it was, the light was missing? About using the tree alive to undo the curse. But there were rainbows earlier. Young Dressel, the tree of life. Came clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Subtle. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's railroading, if it's like the first m minute of the session. Because <laughs> it's just like, hey, guys, here are the rails, get on them. Anyway, here I am respecking because motion really hasn't been working for me. So I'm like, okay, elemental damage. Um, exploding phase lock, uh, corrosive clouds, and now I don't know what to get next because I don't know the rest of these. Uh, chain reaction, fire bullets, and fight for your life. I I think I'm gonna go for uh, lightning, fire fire punches. And you spent so much time building your character. <laughs> it takes yes. Uh, well, character creation is so always fun. very uh, essential. 
Emotional. So now I'm a uh, cataclysm siren all of a sudden. Which means I am just all about elements of damage. Like that. Like that. Until that did more damage. By the way, where's the tavern? I mean, it's a town. You should go to the tavern and get we'll, drunk. We will get to that. Don't worry. That's where the have rest one. of your party. It's technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. Wait, is this medieval times? Um, Why are skeletons here? It's medieval relative to the distant future of Borderlands. That was like, how are so she? Everyone, everyone yeah, still has. She's also magic. Yeah. Yeah. So you like a time yeah. traveler? Also, where's the blimps? You know, saying that there's skeleton money. Here we go. Black Ooh, hole. Lots more damage. Jeez. Much happier. Oh. That's that one of your new abilities. Yeah. Basically, I phase lock someone and they get slack, slack, corrosive, fire, all this jazz. Electricity. What, what color is green? Green is, green is corrosive. I think that's is, acid. Yeah, acid, corrosive. So I was going to say, if it's poison, why would it be doing anything? It's actual, like, corrosive acid. Ah, a little tiny. Yeah, there's a little midget that was harassing me for a little bit there. Yeah. Glowy. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. Oh, look, you have a partner already. Wait, why didn't you accompany the queen, then? Whoop, time out. I gotta take this. I guess she's tough. Pause game! Mr. Torque! Tina, put me in the game! Okay, Who's this guy? the gatekeeper is now Mr. Torque. Uh, did you watch the introduction? This is Mr. Yeah. Torque, the CEO uh, of the Torque Corporation, maker of explosive weapons. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? There we go. Yep. You gotta prove your badass. Well, this just got more complicated. Are you just that no dude to uh, save your queen? Because reasons. Wait, the only the reasons you out. ever need. So remember when you said shoot down the airships? Well, we're gonna shoot down the airships. I didn't want to shoot down the airships. Well, we have to because I Mr. Did. Torg said so. Oh, you did. Then you have that fire out. weapon. I, yeah, I, I go for the fire weapon because he said use a fire weapon, but it turns out you really don't because right next to all the tethers are these explosive barrels. Oh. That nice. And here we go. Oh, man. You know how yeah. hard to make a fully yeah. functional airship? Yeah, we're kind of jerks right now. And <laughs> mushroom god. Anyway. No consequences whatsoever. It must be filled with helium. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Or Explodium. Or Explodium. You think someone somewhere would have said, oh, the humanity, but... Yeah. yeah. Guys are really blingy. They're all busy being sad about their lost queen. Yeah. Yeah, pretty bad. Meanwhile, nobody is trying to, like, you know... Stop, stop. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they or know you here. at least try to contain... I'm gonna shoot down your airship, bye. Would what you stop that? someone who's still in heat? Like, I'm pretty sure you probably the... have a reason. So are they filled with it? Just like, destroy the village's only way to see approaching threats. We had no reason to do that. I see one over there. He said because reasons. Yeah. Uh, and it's fantasy, so clearly it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so yep. now we're going to the tavern. Now we're going to the tavern. Yeah. Get drunk, start a fight. That will show our bad attitude. We'll we'll get one of those at the very least, and it will be pretty awesome. There will be explosions. The prettiest? No, it'll. It, it's actually it's actually kind of a pretty explosion. Wait, this town doesn't oh, have I guess a tavern. So. Wait a minute. Told you. Now there's a tavern. Okay. So, uh, what I like about this is that it abuses the whole unreliable, you know, geez. narrator. Narrator. Yeah. Just change the world at random. Hey, All right, these guys are jerks. Hey, adventurer, it's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be Can afraid to get rough. Shoot him in the head. Punch. Yeah, no! And my punches are on fire, so now he's <laughs> oh, oh man! You're like a firefighting Pokemon. Seriously, something do you need? Whoa! What? What? Because she is the prettiest. If you're going to say that, you're going to say the prettiest bitch. <laughs> yeah. You didn't use the proper surname. Kind of a hassle. But does he normally explode <laughs> if you punch him? Or is this because of a spec? Um, so I tried yep. his locking to get all these elemental effects on him, so even though he has like 1 HP, it doesn't really work. Whoa! 
<laughs> Holy uh, this makes no you sense. exploded. It's ruining yeah, everything. because... Oh, no, it's kind of pretty. Well done. You're now badass enough to survive the forest. Oh, the forest. And, you know, save the president from ninjas. I mean, queen from whatever. <laughs> Are you bad enough to restore white to the light to the world? Stop repeating the lies. Yeah, NPCs in town kind of get in the way of. Well, that's standard RPG fare. Uh, that's true. But usually in standard RPGs, you go talk to them. They don't just like. I think that's more for video games than RPGs. I suppose. Am I right? Hey, I read the quest. What the hell, what the hell is that thing? Who it's a robot. You to blow up the ocean. What? Okay. Okay. Can't way. blow up the ocean. How are we going to have Viking style okay, fuel? Torg, I banish you. Uh, we'll to the make stocks. do. To the stocks. Awesome. Wait, why would that be awesome? Uh, because why not? Stocks are awesome. You will not Thank you for opening the way. Couldn't have opened that on our own, obviously. He's pretty for a gatekeeper. But first. As all RPGs are meant to be, all the players will, instead of going on the rails, will just stick around in town for a few days. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. we're going we're gonna to go back into center town, sell some of the items we picked up, and, uh, I don't know, see if we can get some better equipment. Because I kind of had to suddenly change my build. Now I'm thinking, you know, I, you know, it'd be really nice if I could find some better weapons over the course of this, but we'll just have to see how that works out. I'm surprised that the town is so quiet after all the explosions in the last few minutes and the fact that any moment now the skeletons will overrun. There's Torg in the stocks. Yeah. I, I think at this point everyone's just kind of resigned that their situation magic, sucks, magic. so they're not really commenting magic, on a lot. A gun at your side. What the hell is that thing? But what about a gun that shoots magic? These are the uh, vending machines that serve as the shops. I like the stained glass windows. They've all been uh, kind of reworked. Yeah, that's, kind of, that's kind of pretty. RPGs I, yeah. eyes. Happy trails to so instead, instead of a gun merchant, it's a you know blacksmith. It, instead of a you know uh, doctor, it's you know like a mana potion seller or something like that. Yeah. So what are we buying here exactly? Guns and shields and whatnot. I'm trying to see if what I have is better than what I got and if they're selling anything better. But right now, most of my stuff is pretty you know, high quality as it is, so I'm going to be hard-pressed to find some better guns. Uh, mod's useless. Full cleric station. And hello, that's a pretty hefty shield right there. It's certainly better than what I got, as far as just sheer capacity goes, and I like shield capacity. Yeah, the DM we play under never lets us buy magic at shops, so we never have anything to spend our money on. <laughs> Well, like, managing shops is, like, kind of a hassle. In, yeah. Uh, you know, game for DM. It's just like, here, just, I will throw items at you when I feel like it, whatever. Yeah. So or, think of healing items as mana potions. Mana potions are what? Grenades now? I really wouldn't recommend thinking about it too hard. I really wouldn't. It's just kind of silly and fun. Because yeah. wizards aren't people. So, uh... That is our first episode of Assault on Dragon Keep. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. Wait, we're yeah. over already?